from Germantown High School's award-winning TV studio, GHS TV, it's time for Wake Up Germantown. Wake Up Germantown, it's 39 degrees on this Friday, January 29th. I'm Jasmine Salisbury. Joining me are school news anchor Renimi Mayam and sports anchor Brian Scott. But before we get to them, let's take a look at our today's top stories. Michigan State Senate has approved $28 million to help the city of Flint recover from its toxic water crisis. The crisis started in 2014 when the city of Flint switched to the Flint River to save money for its drinking water. However, the river contained corrosive chlorine, which ate away at the lead piping that the water flowed through, making the water toxic. Donations are pouring in. This week, the city of Memphis, FedEx, and MLGW sent 12,000 bottles of clean water to Flint. Two weeks ago, Germantown High School's very own Thespian Troop 912 took a trip to Middle Tennessee State University to participate in the 2016 Tennessee State Thespian Conference. More than 800 students from 37 Tennessee schools participated in a variety of workshops hosted by industry professionals. In addition, some of our juniors and seniors had the chance to audition for college theater programs and scholarships. More than 160,000 teens skip school every day. The reason? Bullying. Whether it's physical, verbal, or cyber, bullying is having an effect on students. Reporter Ryan Coleman and videographer Connor Sackett try to get a better understanding on how to prevent bullying in this Wake Up Germantown report. <laughs> get some friends, loser. He would call me names and, and, and push me and punch me and kick me and all that. The numbers so, are alarming. According while, to the I'm National excited. Bullying Prevention Center, one in four high school students report being bullied every year. And these students are at increased risk for poor school adjustment, sleep deprivation, anxiety, and depression. I was very sensitive and very, very uh, easily, easily hurt and stuff. So when he would call me name, it would just shatter my confidence. For some, learning self-defense is their way of taking back control. Here in Memphis, Scorpion Martial Arts strives to teach teens safe ways to fight back without actually fighting. Scarlett Simpson here with today's 24 frame trivia question. Earlier this month, Star Wars The Force Awakens surpassed Avatar as the highest domestic grossing film of all time. In the original Star Wars trilogy, who does the Millennium Falcon belong to? Was it A, Obi-Wan Kenobi, B, Darth Vader, or C, Han Solo? Think you know? We'll reveal the answer right after Tech Talk. Over half a dozen games are set for release in 2016, and the most anticipated one is Street Fighter V. Now let's find out what Germantown High School students and teachers need to know. Renimi Mam brings us today's school news. Here are today's GHS announcements. Do you have questions about AP or honors classes? Wondering what leadership programs are offered in the summer? Or are you looking for scholarship information? Then log on to the GHS Counselors website at ghscounselors.weebly.com. It's got all the information you need and much more. Attention NHS members, there will be a regular meeting this afternoon at 2.25 in the library. And finally, today's lunch will include fish tacos, vegetarian nachos, entree salad, fresh fruit, chilled fruit cup, and milk. Now let's get an update on the world of sports, both here in Germantown and beyond. Brian Scott joins us now. Brian, you're trying something new this week with your sports report. That's right, Jasmine. We're calling it the two-minute drill. We get you caught up with the latest and greatest in the world of sports in 120 seconds or less. We start this morning with the Grizzlies. Last night, the boys in blue battled against the Bucks, in what turned out to be a very heated matchup. 
Some great ball movement by the Grizz early in the second. Ended up in a sensational slam for Jeff Green. The Bucks came right back down the floor with some fast break offense of their own, with an alley-oop from Chris Middleton to Michael Carter Williams. But the Grizz proved just to be too much, with the grindfather himself even pitching in on the action with a baseline drive and jam. Jeff Green had 21 points and five boards off the bench, and Gasol added 15 and 8 to put the Memphis Grizzlies over the Milwaukee Bucks, 103 to 83. And finally, I've got to give some love to our Red Devils varsity basketball team. With some really big wins and only one loss this late into the season, they're looking to finish their season out strong with some wins against some tough opponents. The Red Devils did just that and more this past Tuesday against Kirby. Final score, 64-44. to How far will Germantown make it into the playoffs? Who do you have winning the Super Bowl? Send us a tweet at JHSTV Sports with your answers. As always, go Red Devils! Jasmine, back to you! Finally, taking a look at this weekend's weather, Saturday will be sunny with a high of 65 degrees and a low of 55 degrees. Sunday, expect cloudy skies and a high of 65 degrees and a low of 48 degrees. That's all the news from around the world and here at home. From all of us here at GHS-TV, have a great day.